Imagine this, a giant rock, bigger than all of New York City, falls from space. It's not just a small pebble, but a colossal asteroid, hurtling towards our planet at unimaginable speeds. Boom, it smashes into Earth with a force so powerful it would be felt across continents. What happens? Well, it wouldn't be good, especially if it hit the Alaskan Triangle. This mysterious region is already known for strange disappearances and eerie phenomena. This isn't some science fiction movie. It's a real possibility, albeit a rare one. Asteroids are out there, and while most are harmless, some are big enough to cause serious damage. These space rocks have the potential to change the course of life on Earth. Today let's talk about what would happen if one of these giant space rocks as big as New York City hit Earth. The impact would be catastrophic, altering landscapes and climates. We're talking about a rock maybe 10 kilometers wide. That's a massive chunk of space debris. That's like driving across New York City five times. Imagine the sheer size and scale of such an object. The good news? These impacts are super rare. The chances of such a massive asteroid hitting Earth are extremely low. The bad news? If one did hit, it would be a really, really bad day for everyone. The aftermath would be devastating, with long-lasting effects on the environment and human civilization. That's why scientists around the world are constantly monitoring the skies, tracking these celestial objects to ensure our safety. With advanced technology, we can detect potential threats early and take necessary precautions, but for now, let's hope these giant space rocks stay far, far away. Picture New York City with all its skyscrapers and people. Now imagine that, but made of solid rock hurtling towards Earth at thousands of kilometers per hour. That's our meteor. It's huge and moving crazy fast. When we say city-sized, we mean it. This thing would be massive, dwarfing even the tallest buildings on Earth. The energy it carries would be mind-boggling, like millions of nuclear bombs exploding at once. It's hard to wrap your head around something so big and destructive, but trust me, you wouldn't want to be anywhere near it when it hits. Our imaginary meteor is headed for the Alaskan Triangle, a mysterious area known for strange happenings. It stretches from Anchorage to Juneau and up north, covering a huge swath of mountains, forests, and water. Why the Alaskan Triangle? Well, an impact anywhere would be bad, but hitting this area could make things even worse. The remote location means help would be hard to get to survivors. Plus, the impact could trigger volcanic eruptions and earthquakes, adding to the chaos. It's a recipe for disaster on a massive scale. The moment our meteor hits, it's all over for the Alaskan Triangle. The impact releases unimaginable energy, instantly vaporizing everything within hundreds of kilometers. Imagine a giant fireball, hotter than the sun, engulfing the entire area. A shockwave travels outward at supersonic speeds, flattening forests, pulverizing mountains and creating hurricane-force winds that circle the globe. Coastal areas are hit by towering tsunamis, waves taller than skyscrapers, wiping out everything in their path. It's a scene of pure devastation, like something out of a disaster movie. But this is no movie, it's a stark reminder of the immense power of nature, or in this case, a giant space rock. Section 5, A World Shaken Earthquakes and Tsunamis The impact doesn't just devastate the Alaskan Triangle, it shakes the entire planet. Massive earthquakes, bigger than anything we've ever seen, ripple across the globe, triggering volcanic eruptions and landslides far from the impact site. Remember those tsunamis? They don't just hit Alaska. These monster waves travel across the Pacific Ocean, slamming into coastlines thousands of kilometers away. Cities on the west coast of North America, Japan, even as far as Australia would face catastrophic flooding. It's a global catastrophe with the initial impact just the beginning. The aftershocks, both literal and figurative, would be felt for years, if not decades to come. Section 6, The Long Winter Climate Chaos The immediate aftermath is terrifying but the long-term effects are just as scary. The world as we know it changes in an instant, and the repercussions are felt for generations. The impact throws trillions of tons of dust and debris into the atmosphere, blocking out the sun and plunging the earth into a long, artificial winter. Temperatures plummet, crops fail, and ecosystems collapse. The once vibrant and thriving planet becomes a cold, desolate wasteland, the air becomes choked with dust and toxic gases, making it hard to breathe. The quality of air deteriorates rapidly, posing severe health risks to any surviving life forms. Imagine a nuclear winter but on a global scale lasting for years, maybe even decades. 
The sun's warmth and light are but distant memories and the planet is engulfed in perpetual darkness and cold. This impact winter would be a fight for survival for all life on Earth. Plants, animals and humans alike would struggle to find food, warmth and shelter in this new, harsh reality. With food scarce and the environment hostile, the competition for resources would be fierce. Communities would need to band together, sharing what little they have to increase their chances of survival. Only the most adaptable species would stand a chance. Evolution would take a new path, favoring those who can withstand the extreme conditions and find innovative ways to survive. The world would be forever changed, a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life in the face of unimaginable adversity. Section 7. Could we survive? So, could we survive such an apocalyptic event? The short answer is, maybe. A lot depends on where you are when the meteor hits and how well you're prepared. Underground bunkers stocked with supplies could offer some protection from the initial blast and the following winter. But even then, it would be a long, hard road to rebuilding civilization. This isn't meant to scare you, but to highlight the importance of planetary defense. We need to take the threat of asteroid impacts seriously, and develop ways to detect and deflect them. Section 8. Facing the Cosmic Dice Roll The truth is, we live in a cosmic shooting gallery. Every day, countless asteroids and comets zip past our planet, often unnoticed. Asteroids have hit Earth before and they will hit again. These celestial objects have shaped our planet's history leaving behind craters and sometimes causing mass extinctions. It's not a matter of if, but when. The question is are we prepared for the next big one, but that doesn't mean we're helpless, far from it. Scientists are working on ways to track asteroids and even nudge them off course if they get too close. Missions like NASA's DART aim to test our ability to deflect potential threats. It's like a cosmic game of billiards and the stakes are high. Each move we make could mean the difference between safety and disaster. We need to support these efforts and stay informed about the risks. Public awareness and funding are crucial for advancing our planetary defense strategies. Remember, knowledge is power. By understanding the threat and supporting scientific advancements, we can increase our chances of survival and maybe even prevent a cosmic catastrophe. Stay curious, stay informed, and together we can face the cosmic dice roll with confidence. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. That's all for Nifty Narration.